Yeah. All right. Good morning. We are getting a little bit ambitious today, but I have um, got a map up of the ride I want to do today. It's going to be, well, it's saying here that it's going to be 130 kilometers out to Ekaduhuna and back, but going on the back roads, so that's probably through, oh, probably closer to four, four and a half hours. Could be a bit of a head crosswind on the way out. Um, this is definitely the longest ride I have done in a very, very, very long time. So I have no idea how it's going to go, no idea how the legs are feeling, and, and I've run 14 kilometers in the last two days. So we have just got to see how it goes, but I'm going to make sure i got a decent breakfast in me. I've already had a smoothie this morning, and then I'll probably have two bowls of this, um, O&J or whatever it is. And then we'll head out, and we'll just see how it goes. Okay, so this is the route I've planned, see? 129.7 kilometers, and that's from my house in Marston. You go out these back roads where the Tour of Wairapa goes. Go past Dryers Rock all the way out to Alfred and School. Hook a left and then to the thing. It's a little bit rolly through this section here. To Ikarahuna. I'll stop at the cafe there. Then we'll probably come all the way back down here. I might, depending on how I'm feeling, go over Dryers Rock there and then into Marsden this way. But we'll see how it goes. The temperature outside is about 18 or 19 degrees. So probably going to be one of the colder rides I've done since I started getting back into training. So might... Might be needing a little bit of an under vest and then maybe an over vest to take with me as well. Just in case the weather gets worse as I head up the North Island. Alrighty, bike is all sorted so I'm just going to have to get quickly kit up. And we'll decide what kit we're going to wear. <clears throat> okay, I am almost ready to go. Just got to decide what shades I want to wear. My Sirocco's. I can either run my, my black ones. Or the black and white ones. I think, I think I might go with the triple black ones today. If you want to get yourself a pair of these Sirocco shades, just uh, use my link which is in the description. Or go dub 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 dot srko.co slash cycling tom to get yourself a pair of these all right 100 plus kilometers here we come To the uh, dryers rock turn off so I'm about halfway of halfway and it's been pretty um, fucking windy right on the way up literally probably 95% of the way up just block headwind so I've been riding for 31.3k and I've done it in an hour and nine minutes so nothing ridiculously fast but hopefully that means that on the way back it's gonna be really quick but yeah the the temperature's gone up a little bit so it's currently sitting on 23 degrees, so I've taken that little uh, wind, that gillette off, chuck it in the back, because I'm getting pretty warm, especially battling against this headwind the whole way up. According to that sign back there, I have 19k to go until I get to the school, so that's probably that's going to be 19k battling in the headwind, and then I hook a left, and I think that's like 12 or 15 kilometers, and then I get into Ekadahuna. It's a bit of a hill, bit of a climb up into Eki, then I'll stop there at the cafe get something to eat and have a coffee and then it should be sweet sailing home. I have uh, made it to Alfredon, which is where I was coming to and I was on turn left, but it has been absolutely blowing the entire way here from that last turn off. 
and um, it's just getting windier and windier and windier so I'm just going to turn back now and enjoy the tailwind and then I'll see how I feel once I hit home because once I hit home it should be almost a, almost 100k so if I do any extra we'll see when we get there Bar and a cheeky gel. And uh, this is what Alfred in school looks like for anyone who is interested. A school literally in the middle of nowhere. that ended up being 98k 98.3k and three hours and 25 minutes on the bike today i really really wanted to get to 100k but i got back into town and my legs were just dead i had to stop at a dairy probably five kilometers four kilometers away from my my house and just buy a coke just to get me home so um, obviously a good workout and I'm pretty dead now. It says I uh, burned 2,000 calories in that workout, so not too bad. It's just because literally I was just pushing strain to that headwind for like 50 kilometers. And then the way back, it was a nice tailwind, but it wasn't a consistent tailwind. So it wasn't like tailwind the whole way back, so I was still battling in the wind. Um, the theme for today's video is going to be uh, my goals for 2019, like what I'm looking to do. And lots of people have said in the comments, like, oh, are you quitting cycling and are you not going to do road races and time trials anymore? And that is not the case. I am definitely not quitting cycling. I'm literally doing the triathlon thing is just a bit of a, um, an experiment. And I thought running would be a really good way to start losing weight really quickly. So I was like, oh, I'll, I'll swim, bike and run now that I've got my shoulder fixed and my knees fixed. Why not? Because that's what I used to do before I did cycling. So i just give it a go. So that's what the running and stuff's for. And then I was like, oh, I might as well set myself a goal. So I'll do the half Ironman at the end of the year. But obviously I'm still gonna do lots of road races and time trials and stuff. So my three big goals at the moment, um, we, I and a few other people are working on getting a team together for Tour of Southland, which is a five day stage race in the, at the end of winter. So the end of the year, um, down in the South Island, it's one of the hardest races New Zealand has to offer. And obviously I need to do a lot of training and get fit for that. Another reason why I've already started training now. So that's like one of my goals, top, one of my top three ones. And then one of my second goals is um, the aqua bike at Challenge Wanaka. So that literally happened last weekend. I think Mike Phillips won it. And um, so that's a three kilometer swim followed by a 120 kilometer time trial, no run. So I'll be real interested in that because I'm not a great runner, but I can kind of get up there in the swim. So I'll be really interested to see how I can go at that and go down to Wanaka because I've never been there before. And then finally, <clears throat> I have um, Ironman. Uh, half Ironman 70.3 which is the world's qualifier in December, like 7th of December I'm pretty sure, so the end of the year, right at the end of the year, so after Southland and stuff I can start really ramping up the training for that because there's nothing else on. And then a few other um, events I want to do, obviously I want to do Club Nationals which was in uh, my hometown this uh, last year, so this year it's actually down south so we get a few of us together and head down there with like Josh and a few other mates. And it's, um, I'll be an under 23, so that'll be road race with the elites and the under 23s. And then uh, time trial, which is like 25 kilometers, I think. So hopefully my TT legs will be there, give that a good shot. And um, those are basically the quick races I'm doing. I have entered a race for the 10th of March down in Wellington, because I'm moving down to Wellington literally next week. So I think in six days I'm moving down there. And I've entered a medium triathlon down there just for a bit of fun. 750 swim, 15K bike and a 5K run. So that's happen happening on the 10th of March. I think that's a Sunday. So that's basically what I'm training for at the moment, just to give me a little goal um, within a month so I can just keep training, keep grinding, grinding, grinding away. So yeah, training's going all right at the moment and um, I'm eating pretty good. So. I weighed myself after that ride and I was like, what was it, six, sorry, 76.8 kgs. So we're getting there, slowly.
and take your clothes off What's in my drink, it won't let me close off And depressed girl, overdose on zone.